This is amazing. What if you have an AI assistant framework which can be used to chat with any large language model, open source, and also even with chat GPT. Not only that, what if you have an interface like this where you can upload data, ask question, and it will automatically save all the files you upload and you can ask question based on the data you upload. This is also a production ready application. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Cheshire Cat, the production ready AI assistant framework. You can also customize this using APIs. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do that. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and stay tuned. As a prerequisite, you need Docker installed on your computer, which you can download from docker.com. The next step is type docker run hyphen hyphen rm hyphen it hyphen p, then enter the port number, then Cheshire Cat AI, the core latest. And after that, click enter. This will automatically start the Cheshire Cat application. You can navigate to these URLs. First, we are going to the admin portal to set the large language model. I am in the admin portal now. So now if you ask any question, it won't respond because we need to configure the large language model. So what I'm going to do is go to the settings tab, click on the large language model. Here you can choose whatever model you want to use. Today we are going to use OpenAI ChatGPT, but in the upcoming videos, I'll be covering more large language models. Just choose OpenAI ChatGPT and enter your OpenAI API key here and click the save button. Large language model provided updated successfully. Now we're going to configure the embedder Go there, same as we entered our OpenAI API key, enter that here as well and click save. Now we have added the embedder as well. Embedder is used for storing or uploaded data. So now coming to the home page, we're going to type what is your base model. I'm an AI model developed by OpenAI called GPT-3. That's good. This can remember your previous chat history. So I'm going to ask, list all my previous questions. It didn't answer properly. I'm going to ask, give me the what? what were we discussing about you initially asked about my base model then you inquired about listing your previous questions so yeah it answered properly i want to show a few features if you click this icon you can export your conversation you can upload memories you can upload url you can upload a file and then have a conversation based on that now i'm going to start with upload file i uploaded a r card to paper now the embedding will start happening in the background that you can see in the memory tab. Click on that. You can see the number getting increased. Now it's 100, 104. That means the embedding is happening. We can even search here, Orca. It gives a pictorial representation of Orca. If you go into details, you have three different types of memory. One is episodic. Those are the list of questions which we asked before. Declarative is the data we are uploading. So you can see it's Orca too. Then finally, we got procedural. These are the list of extra functions for the chatbot. This is like function calling. So I can see finished reading Orca to paper. Now we can ask question in regards to Orca to paper. Going to the home page, what benchmarks did Orca to beat? You can see the answer here. Orca to performed well on comprehensive set of 15 diverse benchmarks. So you are able to ask question based on the document you uploaded. Next, we're going to upload URL and enter the URL here. So I'm going to enter my website and click send. Website successfully sent down to the rabbit hole. Finished reading. Now I'm going to ask who is Mervyn Prazen. You can see the response here. Mervyn Prazen, an intriguing individual indeed. According to the context you provided, Mervyn Prazen is an AI named Senior DevOps and Site Reliability Engineer. I'm not AI, but I talk about AI. It seems like Mervyn Prazen has expertise in the field of AI and DevOps. If you have any specific questions or if there's anything else, you'd like to know about Mervyn Prazen, feel free to ask. Next, we're going to see how we can export memory. Click the memory tab. There you have export memories. Click on that and it'll automatically download the memory. You can even import the memory by clicking this. In this way, you don't need to embed every single time if you're planning to upload the same document. Next, we are going to see plugins. This is really a good feature where you can add extra functionality to this application. You can even create your own plugin. All the information regarding how to create a plugin is in the documentation page. But now we're going to Install a few plugins and see how it's working. If you click this button, you can see all the list of plugins. I'm going to install Cat Eyes. In this way, you can analyze image using OpenAI Vision API. I'm going to install this. It's installing. Now it got installed. I'm going to list all the installed plugins. Now I'm going to click this icon and set the settings. 
As soon as you click that, you need to enter your OpenAI API key. Enter that here and click the save button. Now it got saved. This is the image I'm going to upload. So I'm going to clear the conversation, then enter the same URL. I have returned from my visual exploration. In the image you shared, I spy a mobile phone created with skillful touch of human hands. Seems like this particular plugin need to be a little bit improved, but overall the application is amazing. Still, you got many different plugins to try and test. Next, coming to the API. If you navigate to this URL, you should be able to get your API endpoints. So here is the API endpoint. You can use all these APIs to customize your application. That's it, as simple as that. Now you can deploy a production ready AI assistant framework and configure it based on your needs. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.